All right. So the elections are over. Yeah. Obama's the winner. You guys have made it very clear who you're supporting from yeah. the beginning. Democratic Party. Definitely. Uh, first off, how did it feel when he won? Oh, yeah, that was that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people cried and shit. And where were you guys at? Where were we? Uh, I forgot we was a couple of cities back, but we was performing that night. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, method. I read somewhere about uh, you calling out Obama, inviting him to go to the streets of Compton, get a, learn even, a perspective. Can you expand on that? I ain't even from Compton. I really meant any uh, any ghetto USA. You know? Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen a president walk his ass through any of them spots. Harlem, you know what I mean? Fifth Ward, you know what I mean? Nolia Project, shit like that. We would love to see them motherfuckers come down there. It gives people some hope. Yeah. Cause I know when we pass through our respectable territories you know i see people's faces light up like they look at us and be like yeah these some niggas that made it you know it would be nice for obama to pass through you think you guys could tell me uh, a couple of immediate changes that you guys want to see in our government and the way our countries run wow. uh, legalize marijuana legalize yeah. marijuana for that sounds like a good one. Yeah. open up a whole lot of motherfucking jobs because this is a recession yes. like a motherfucker niggas is killing and robbing everywhere yes. man open up some jobs man for real, and, and more programs for the kids. And I and I never when I used to hear that shit, I never knew whatever. I never knew how important it was no, it to important. have those programs for these kids. Now that I see all these kids 15, 16 years old gang banging in New York, blood, all that shit, it, it, it's, it's a travesty. And I know it's not their fault. It's just that they have no other place to turn to. It's no programs and shit in they in their neighborhood. The niggas they look up to is the drug dealers in the uh-huh, motherfucking uh-huh. and, and, and yo, it, the shit sounds so cliche. Like I'm, I'm, I'm talking like, uh, you know what I mean? Like I'm sounding like a broken record. Yeah, but but it's, it's, true. it's true. It's true. The shit is true. I see it so clear now in my 37 years of being on. Too many games the now. Too many BET. Too much shit to not concentrate on school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kids have fucking be, been desensitized to violence, to sex, to drugs. To everything now, you know what I'm saying? We not trying to change the world and shit, but we see, we just want people to know that it ain't all about just smoking some weed, writing some rhymes and shit like that. You know, we got moms, we got kids, we take care of our families, and we know what the fuck's going on in this world. All right, man. I'm, I'm switching things up. Tell me about the Wu Tang affiliates. First of all, how many are there? Oh shit, it's a gang of them. It's so many, you know. You know what it is, though? Actually, it's us showing love to all and everybody who wanted to, you know, get in the game. That's, that was really this whole thing right there. So, yeah. a lot of brothers who came in, whoever was the most persistent got on. We get it, right. What's the process like for selecting them? Um, I don't know, but I know I'm a Wu Tang member. I'm selecting. Um, it ain't that many. It's, it's head niggas, but. I don't know what you have to be. You have to be raw. And you have to be true to the culture and be for the babies. Uh-huh. And you can't eat pork, motherfucker. <laughs> no swine. All right, tell me a little bit about the original clan. Are you guys still pretty close? I know you had a reunion tour uh, in April, right? Everybody's tight. Everybody's still tight. It's just we don't see each other as much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, the last album, you know, was a little fallout between certain individuals, but that always happens within a family. You can't say because one or two individuals are beefing that a group is not a group anymore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it ain't, they ain't even really beefing. This is this shit ain't new to us. It's just that um, the mistake was made bringing the media into it. That's how. That's what okay. I feel about okay. it. I don't think the media should ever been brought involved in any kind of family business. You keep that behind closed doors. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Roots a bit. What did you guys listen to when you were kids? Everything. Old music. Everything. Oh, his discography is way deeper than mine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was DJing, so I listened to everything, man. All music. Yeah. Old R&B, new R&B, Country. old rap. Country, if it was had a rhythm, I don't give a fuck. If anything got a vibe or a rhythm, I fuck. It could be classical, it could be uh-huh. easy listening. Uh-huh. It don't matter. Yeah. Alternative. Easy vibe. What about now? Is it is it different now? or? Uh... No, it's the same way. I still listen all the way around. Yeah. That's and it's non-hip-hop genres, too? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of hip-hop, a lot of... A lot of mixed music, man. It depends on where you at. That shit. I saw the Wackness earlier this year. It was pretty fucking good, man. Yeah. Probably one of the next to one of the Brad Pitt. I had the worst Jamaican accent <laughs> in theaters. Uh, yes, it, was, it was definitely one of the best movies I've seen all yeah, year, man. It was, man. Nice it was really good. Very nice. Um, how was that? What was it like being a part of that project? I was just in awe of uh, Sir Ben Kingsley. Mm-hmm. Very humble dude, man. Very humble dude. I, I respect the shit out of him because uh, he came to the set, no ego. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, he wasn't he wasn't the type that you know after they call cut, go back to his trailer and not kick it with anybody. Mm-hmm. We sat around and kicked it like me and Doc kicked it on the set of How High. It was real. I learned something that day. You know what I'm saying? I learned something that day, big time. Very, very, very moving experience. Yeah. I, I like how they they snuck in uh, 
that song, the, oh, the yeah, biggie, the, the one you did, the what? The what? Yeah. That was tight. Was that your idea? or uh, That was Jonathan. All, yeah. I give him 110% credit and I thank him for the opportunity. You got one more question. One more. All right, okay. What kind of blunt wraps do you guys use? Backwards. Backwards? Yes. Uh, yeah, nice. right. The reason why we use backwards, well, the reason why I use backwards is because Dutch Masters in New York cost $2 a piece now. Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah. In a pack of backwards, you get eight, and that's about three, four dollars. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Oh. Well, you guys have a new album coming in the end of this year, or yeah. hopefully the beginning of next year. Beginning of next year, Black Album. And two. I can't believe how high two is that? Is that for sure? How high two. We um, uh, I think um, I love Dustin. That's my man. He wrote the first one, but Dustin's caught up in the red tape of um. Hollywood right now, especially after the writer's strike. He has a family to feed, so I don't blame him for doing what he got to do with CSI. But he can't blame us for wanting to move on and use a different writer. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're all looking forward to seeing that. Absolutely. I'm fucking going. Thank you so much for the interview, guys. I appreciate it.